Hey guys, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. I've got your Outback 335 CG here. Let's start up front looking around at your beautiful new camper. You've got a molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in. Down low here by your battery bank, there's going to be a light switch for that uh, front LEDs. The guys are getting ready to fill up your propane tanks for you, so we got the lid off. There it is. Here we've got your 7.3 auto leveling system. Inside the cap, there is directions on how to use it. I'm also going to send you a linked video to show you how to operate this as well. Coming around the side, we've got your pass-through storage compartment. Docking station here. This is going to be the hookup for your fresh water. So you're going to go ahead and uh, flip that little tab down and that will keep the door open for us a little. So this will be where the hose will connect. You'll flip the blue switch to either city fill or onboard tank fill. If you're running off of the city pressurized water, you're going to make sure you're going to leave your water pump off. If you're running off your onboard holding tank, you're going to turn that water pump on. And I'll show you inside what that looks like. We've got your sewage flush, so you're going to hook up a fresh water hose there, and that's going to flush out your black tank. You're going to make sure that your valve is open and that you are hooked up before you do that. Right here we've got hot and cold water shower. Um, there is a blue coil hose inside the pass-through storage that connects there. Beautiful roof wrapped around the edge. You've got gutters to take the water away from your camper. Coming down low is where your gray and black tank um, is going to release from and uh, as well as the pull valves for it. There is a white I don't know if you can see it. There's a white hose hanging out. That is to release the water uh, from your onboard fresh water holding tank. So if you need to drain that before you take off, pull, uh, open that up. On this side here, you're going to notice a couple things. You got two black covers those are for inside the garage to vent out any fumes when you're traveling down the road you also have a secondary grade tank for your galley or your kitchen and then you can see your auto leveling system all six jacks two of them up front we already visited coming around the back here is going to be the hookup for your 50 amp service you do have a power cord about 25 feet long inside for you Backup camera prep, ladder on the back so you can access your roof for servicing it. You can never have enough caulk. You do have locks built into the handles on your garage door. Coming around the side here, we've got your outside kitchen. So you're going to have a couple pull drawer storages. You're also going to have your sink hookup for cable and satellite to mount a TV in here if you wish. There is a cheater of a door that is supposed to be there. That's an access panel for the water uh, at your sink. Nice big fridge and your pull-out gas uh, cooktop. Down below, there is your spare tire. There is a yellow plug there. That is the quick connect for your um, propane for your grill and low point drain valves. Power awning with the LED lights built in it coming all the way around the front of the rig. And right there is your 25 foot uh, 50 amp service cable. Hook up for cable and satellite. I'll send you a video in regards to your key TV system. Hook up for, or uh, excuse me, access to your hot water heater. Anoid rod is in out for draining. They're going to take it out of the winterization and uh, run it through its paces and then it will be winterized when it comes to you. When we first walk in, you've got a service panel here. This is your fuses and breakers. So if you ever have any electrical issues, this is a great place to start. It's a real easy, cheap fix and uh, keep things going and having fun. Nice big wardrobe closet when we first walk in as well. And just above the electric fireplace, 
radio and TV, there are two cabinet doors. This one is going to have the panel for your controls. So here we've got uh, to check your fresh water level, your battery, which is nice and full, black and gray tanks. This is your water pump that we talked about outside that you will use to uh, run the water from the onboard holding tank through your system. Water heater for gas and electric for heating elements. Interior exterior lighting, all three of your slide boxes and your power awning outside. Around the camper you've got some LEDs built into the ceiling. There is a little button. If I push it, the light will come on. Theater seating. I've got the pull down blinds here for you. Give them a little tug and they'll roll up. Your dinette. There is a little bit of handle hiding up there. You're going to flip that over and that's going to allow you to bring the table up into a dinette position. And then inside the booth here, take this pad out of the way and then you're simply going to lift up on the back side. It is hinged so that way you can actually use it one-handed. Inside here we've got uh, some brackets for the extension on your ramp door in your garage. USB ports are kind of hiding around the camper. There is one light switch here in the slide box. You can flip that on and that's going to be the LEDs for underneath your booth. Speakers built into the ceiling. Flip down sofa slash sleeper. Garage door with ramp extension. An upper bunk. Do you have heating and AC duct in here as well? And a spot for the TV to mount. Go inside and check out your beautiful new kitchen too. You do have little pods of LED lights around. Microwave. Some great storage inside. Um, your gas stovetop, we've got a lid. So this is going to flip over once. We're going to go ahead and flip it one more time. And that's going to give you a nice backsplash and access to your three burner cooktop. LED lit. Backlights on the dials for the oven and stove. And you do have a fan and lighting on the hood. Great drawer storage everywhere. Nice little dry rack and cover for your sink and even the garbage can. You do have the gas electric stove, or excuse me, <laughs> refrigerator. There's on and off settings inside here as well as the auto setting. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, send this video off to you guys so you can take a look at your beautiful new camper and let the guys get in here and finish prepping and testing and inspecting it for you. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to give me a call. April at Lakeshore RV, my number 231-638-7750. Look forward to hearing you guys enjoying your new camper.